Here's the new map application in FC Hub. So when I click on the map, it shows me a view of my entire fleet that I have access to monitoring based on my user settings. And uh, furthermore, it's worth noting in the new FC Hub, we have a pretty advanced grouping feature, which enables an organization to set up their organizational hierarchy. So in FC Hub, if you have resources or people in your organization that are responsible at a branch level, uh, you can easily set up grouping in the hierarchy to have these branches in the system. And then those users can be set up at different levels in the hierarchy, making it really easy so everyone sees what's important to them, what they have the authority to see and manage. So when you log in here, it uh, shows me what I've set up to wanting to see. So I'm tracking right now about 34 vehicles across North America, so the map shows me that. And I can scroll through my list of 34 vehicles and get uh, a quick insight into the state of each vehicle. Most vehicles are parked. Uh, this is a vehicle, for example, where I see this green arrow that is moving right now. It's traveling 59 miles per hour. It last transmitted 39 seconds ago. And when I click on that vehicle, it shows me a quick information card on that vehicle. So the name of the vehicle, its current status, which means it's traveling, the direction of travel that it's moving, I can see on the icon here. The user or the, the person uh, that is driving this vehicle right now has been identified. The location of this vehicle, last, uh, uh, last time the device reported, which was 22 seconds ago, and the speed of travel. Um, I can click on details and I will get all the details about this vehicle uh, listed here on the left pane. For example, the ignition is on. The vehicle is currently traveling at a speed of 67 miles per hour. The odometer of that vehicle is 23,056 miles when it last reported 22 seconds ago. The engine hours, the fuel level. Uh, this vehicle has a full fuel tank right now, for example. Is the engine light on? No, which is good. What is the engine coolant temperature? Uh, so any information we get out of the vehicle's computer is dynamically displayed here. That's different based on year, make, model, but whatever information we do capture, we dynamically display there about that vehicle. Some other important information includes the vehicle's battery voltage, um, some information about the device itself, the, the telematics device that's plugged into this vehicle. In this case, it's an FT1 device, which has a backup battery. That backup battery has 99% power. Um, it's got a very good signal strength right now. Uh, so we get a lot of important insights about the vehicle right here. We have this great new feature in FC Hub called Live Share. So if you wanted to share the location of this vehicle with an external party, like a customer, for example, common use cases, customers are calling saying, when is your technician or your driver, the delivery gonna get here? And to avoid all those back and forth phone calls, you can simply offer to provide the customer a URL where they can track that vehicle for as long as you've specified. So you may say you could track this vehicle for the next hour or two or day or so, depending on, on the nature of your business. I simply click on this plus sign here under live share and specify the expiry date and time of that URL and uh, click copy and share. And it creates a URL now that I can send to that customer via email or text and the customer can now track that vehicle without having to log into the system. All right, let me show you now the history playback feature in FC Hub. Our new history playback feature makes it really nice and easy to understand how a vehicle has traveled over the time period specified. So for example, I simply selected uh, one of the vehicles and asked to run a, a history of today. And I can see here that the vehicle started its day parked at midnight and was parked until 6.12 a.m. And then there was a trip from 6.12 to 7.11 this morning of 50 miles over uh, uh, 59 minutes and if I click on that trip it animates that trip along on the map and shows me exactly the direction of travel and the course taken making it just again super easy for me to understand where and how that vehicle got from point A to point B along this trip. I can certainly zoom in of course and look into uh, anything I'd like to know. If I want to see the actual GPS points, point by point, I can click, click on track points here and it gives me a complete uh, detailed breakdown 
of every record that we received for that trip. So you can just play right through it and see exactly each track point and expand on it to see the exact location of that track point and so on. All right, let's move back into the map and show you our really nice new search feature. So up here we have a search bar and I can simply search for anything uh, in my organization. Like for example, if I wanted to find my vehicle, instead of scrolling through the list, I can type in Tony and it immediately brings up any vehicles or uh, assets or geofences associated with that word. And I can see Tony's Jeep right there click on it and it brings up that vehicle on the map. Again, just super quick, fast, user-friendly. And thanks to FC Hub's new tech architecture, this, this product performs really fast. Uh, no matter how big the fleet, we have fleets with thousands of vehicles on this platform. And really quickly, you can pull up whatever insights you may want to see uh, on the vehicle and uh, uh, quickly search and, and get to the information you need within seconds, super fast and easy. That's a quick overview of our new map interface. And clearly you can see how fast and easy it is to manage your fleet using FC Hub.